Hey guys, what's up? It's Mikey Chen. Thank you all so much for watching my previous Alien video and I want to follow that up with this video because about a week or so ago I found out about this news and it's really interesting and I just wanted to bring this news item to everyone's attention because if this is accurate, it's really incredible. According to research from the University of Rochester, the odds of human beings being alone in the universe are about 1 in 10 billion trillion. We may not be the only advanced civilization in the universe. Heck, we may not even be the first. That's the conclusion after the famous 1961 Drake Equation was revised. Now, if you're not familiar, the Drake Equation, which looks like this, was developed, like I said, in 1961 by astronomer Frank Drake and estimates the number of intelligent civilizations in our galaxy. Here's what the equation means. N is the number of civilizations in the Milky Way galaxy whose electromagnetic emissions are detectable. Rx refers to the yearly rate of star formations in our galaxy. Fp is the fraction of stars that have planetary systems. And Yi is the number of planets per solar system that can support life. Fl is the fraction of suitable planets on which life actually appears. Fi is the fraction of life-bearing planets on which intelligent life emerges. Fc refers to the fraction of civilizations that develop a technology that releases detectable signs of their existence into space. L is the length of time such civilizations release detectable signals into space. Now, when Dr. Drake developed this equation, many thought it was only guesswork, and they were sort of right because there were a lot of gaps in knowledge, as we did not know how many stars there are in our solar system, how many have planets that could already have life on them, and back then, they did not know a single star outside of our solar system. But now we have answers to at least some of these questions. We now know that one-fifth of stars have planets that are in the habitable zone and by using the Kepler telescope and other observational tools we have located planets that orbit stars in other parts of the universe just like we orbit the Sun because of these new developments dr. Adam Frank professor of physics and astronomy at the University of Rochester and astronomer Woodruff Sullivan from the University of Washington decided to update the famous Drake equation there are of course still some unanswered questions such as how long alien civilizations can survive, which we have no idea. So Dr. Frank and Dr. Sullivan instead shifted the question to have other civilizations ever existed. In a statement, Sullivan said, this shifted focus eliminates the uncertainty of the civilization lifetime question and allows us to address what we call the cosmic archaeological question. How often in the history of the universe has life evolved to an advanced state? Another mystery was how likely advanced life is to evolve evolve on habitable planets, which is something else we didn't know. So instead, researchers calculated the probability that human beings are the only civilization to ever exist in the universe, in which case the answer is one in one billion trillion. Even in our own Milky Way galaxy, the number is one in 60 billion. So just for some perspective, you have a better chance of getting struck by lightning, making a hole in one in golf, and winning the Powerball jackpot all in one day than us being the only beings in this universe. In a new paper which has been published in Astrobiology, Dr. Frank says, one in 10 billion trillion is incredibly small. To me, this implies that other intelligent technology producing species very likely have evolved before us. Think of it this way, before our result, you'd be considered a pessimist if you imagine the probability of evolving a civilization on a habitable planet were say one in a trillion. But even that guess, one chance in a trillion implies that what has happened here on Earth with humanity has in fact happened about 10 billion other times over cosmic history. I found this article super interesting and it really makes sense. We all know that the universe is ginormous and then if you believe in parallel universes then just forget about it. It's too big. So how could it be possible that out of all that, most of which we can't see and have not explored, how can we possibly think that we are the only living beings? We're the only intelligent living beings in this universe. And it's just funny that some of the most brilliant minds have said that they believe in extraterrestrials and we're not alone. And science has even backed up the notion that there must be life elsewhere in the universe. But after all that, if you say that you believe in aliens, most people will still look at you like you're crazy and think there's something wrong with you. I don't care. I already told you guys numerous times and I'll say it again. 
I believe there's other life in the universe, other intelligent life, heck, other civilizations that are way more advanced than us definitely exist. I believe that. Let me know what you think. Thank you all so much for watching this video. See you later.